Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be visiting one of the most classical positions and pins, the scarf hold or kesa gatami. In judo, it is very efficient. All you need to do is just hold it for a few seconds and you get the win. However, it is not the same in jiu-jitsu. Also, in jiu-jitsu, there's a strong feeling against it and you hear some of the most seasoned black belts talking about if they get their shoulder on the ground and they can start turning towards you then it is very dangerous and of course they're not wrong but it can we can overcome this what today we will be doing is of course talking exactly about this but before that please check out my newly released book the origins and history of judo uh, a translation from text of 1903 it is bilingual in both english and japanese link will be in the description below so in order to understand the problems we should take a look at both old and new footage um, so the thing with the scarf hold and the key i should say is keeping that shoulder up so we have two scenarios once where the shoulder is up and we can fully be secure that we have full control and one where the shoulder is down and that also has its own ways of dealing with it so you can either here pinch the head and the arm together and keeping the neck and the shoulder up and here for example when they do get their shoulder uh, down where you are holding the the sleeve so they can either take you over or turn around and take your back so here you can switch your legs up and from there uh, press them down with your chest maintaining the grips of your hands but changing the position of your torso and your legs so like i said it can be overcome a lot of people would call this side control but you are still actually maintaining the scarf hold and it is quite important so you can pin the, sh the shoulder here with the lapel hand or if you are holding the head you can turn away and pin them with your own shoulder so let's take a look at some of the escapes and uh, of course the danger here is when they put their arm or the shoulder on the ground they can turn around and take your back so as the old and new footage suggest it's a big problem so let's take a look at what sambo fusion has for a lot of his solutions for this problem so as you just saw the way he turns and presses his own chest down to prevent the turnaround you can actually capitalize on it in jiu-jitsu and of course go ahead for submissions because scarf hold think of it as the tree trunk and and a lot of things will sprout from it branches submissions uh, wrist locks arm locks strangles etc so so the first thing you can do is trap the arm where the shoulder is uh, already down so before they start turning and from there you turn your chest towards them facing down and uh, there they cannot turn around and take your back so and as you isolate the arm what you can do is switch to uh, a triangle so uh, like i said it is a tree trunk and then many branches from it can sprout it is not Let's take away the judo mentality of holding it so i can win and apply the logic of jujitsu for the sake of the context so here you can see you can uh, do a triangle a nasty triangle if i may add uh, and you can get the uh, win so it's really important to mind the shoulders and the position of them uh, in order to understand if you are in trouble or not that is a very uh, crucial so of course a big shout out to sambo fusion for uh, giving me the permission to use all these and i will link them below uh, his instagram and youtube so of course you have the option of they turning you over or putting their shoulder down pulling their arm in and then proceed to turn and take the back and again this is not wrong but it can be addressed you just have to be mindful of their shoulder position so here at the 100 kilo position of course and uh, like i said it can all be overcome so as they turn around maybe they succeeded to put the shoulder down and take the back 
be tra transitioned to uh, what they call in wrestling the wizard or the overhook and then from there as they are uh, their neck is exposed because they uh, posted their arm the other one that's where you take the guillotine and uh, proceed to work from there so if they put their shoulder first you can uh, pin it down with your chest and go to a triangle or if they're quick and explosive and they manage to actually uh, turn around you go to wizard and from there a guillotine uh, of course let's not forget the infinite amounts of submissions like uh, arm locks uh, or here for example the shoulder is getting uh, locked of course you have wrist locks uh, strangles and the triangle we just saw and here you can see a compression as well it seems very nasty so if the solar plexus is uh, pushed down while the neck is going up they're not going anywhere and to it is very difficult to breathe from this position and you can just get the tap so like I said it's really about where their shoulders are and you have to be mindful of that it's not just slipping away and taking your back it's not that magical so uh, obviously here you can see the uh, so de guruma jime where it's being done with the sleeve and uh, the arm of course the endless arm locks on the thigh or ashi gatame so you have it a straight arm you can also bend the arm and uh, you can cross your legs making sure the pressure is stronger if because your thigh is much stronger than your uh, hand and here of course with a bent arm uh, lacing it with the leg or tangling it with the leg it's incredibly painful and very effective and of course going to other positions like the shoulder hold um, what we call in judo the world tour where we switch positions uh, in order to keep up with their reactions so to jujitsu guys i just want to say if you want a very strong uchimata be prepared to take a few sukashi and the same with the scarf hold so if you want a position where it has many branches that sprout from it of course you're gonna have to take some risks at first where you are learning it but it's a shame that it, it's not developing simply because of one particular uh, concern and that is the shoulder and i get the back take but still it can be addressed please don't forget to check out my book below um, and of course uh, check out samba fusion as well this was shady and thank you for listening